Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll show you to add the photos widget. Now, there are several ways to get to this. So you can find a blank space. If you're on the home screen, simply scroll over. So you'll find any blank space, long press. You get the app jig, you get it the plus. And the way to get here is to long press any app. Keep holding, you'll get here. All right, so in order to, another way you can do is press for a little while and hit edit home screen. You'll get there just the same, hit the plus. Once you do, you'll be in here, and this time I'll show you how to get the photos widget. As you can see here, um, this is the photos widget, go ahead and top. You'll have um, three sizes to choose from. You can go ahead, guys, and what you can do is you can scroll over from the small to choose from. You have the medium, and you have the large. I like the medium, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hit add widget. All right. From here, if you long press, you can move it around. If you want, you can hold, move it down, move it across to the um, home screen and keep moving back until you reach the main home screen. But of course, I'm gonna leave it here for now. When you're finished, you can hit done. Next, you could also, if you want, you can remove this widget at any time. The choice is yours. So if you wanted to remove it, simply go ahead and long press and hit remove. All right, so let me just do that right now. I'm gonna hit um, remove. It's gonna ask you to confirm and go ahead and hit remove. All right, so that's how you go about adding the pictures widget. And remember, you have three sizes to choose from. And of course, the choice is yours, as which one you want to use. Ultimately, remember that the larger size will take up more space. All right, guys, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips showing you how to add the photos widget to your iOS 14 device as shown here on the iPhone 11.